Hello and thank you for taking the time to view Delta Electronic Australia's quick explanation video of the My Delta Solar app. Available on Apple iOS, Android and now via the My Delta Solar web portal. For all the links to access these services, we've included them in the description below. Delta Wi-Fi inverters and batteries are now cloud compatible using your home Wi-Fi. If you don't have Wi-Fi, it's okay as you're still able to view your solar generator's performance using your smart device by simply connecting to the inverter's point-to-point -point Wi-Fi connection. Using the app requires a My Delta Solar account, which is available free to register when you open the app. We've provided a link to the account creation steps in the description below. Log into the app using your newly created account, and you'll be presented with three options. As we want to view your solar inverter, we select Manage Devices. Your data will appear on the home screen. This is a nice summary screen to receive a quick glance of your current solar performance. You will have kilowatt hour generated today, as well as kilowatt hours or megawatt hours your plant has generated since installation. You can also select detailed generation for today, month, year, or even longer at 20 years. You can gain more clarity at any of the present graphs by toggling what data you want present by simply and easily selecting the relevant toggle. Selecting your plant at the bottom of the screen, you'll be taken to the In Focus page, where we can view more up-to-date data. Walking through this page, you will see at the top there are three tabs, where you are currently set to Energy. History is where we store logs for any faults the inverter may have experienced. This is especially handy for when the grid is supplying higher than acceptable voltage. Setting is simply where you go to change the name of your plant should it not suit your needs. Further across to the right is our back arrow for simple and easy backtracking. Below the tabs we have the plant name and further down is our display selector. The plant, which is what we're on now, will provide the majority of what you need as an end user. Should you wish to delve further into more detail, you can select inverter. The inverter toggle provides power flow, DC voltage and amps, as well as AC voltage and amps. There is also a handy More Info option, which will provide you with an in-depth numbers overview of the system's current status. This is where you also find the model and serial number of your inverter. Coming back to the plant, you will notice that we provide you with weather, providing current temperature, as well as the forecasted low and high for the day. This is provided by weather stations in your local area. We also provide the sunrise and sunset for your convenience. This lets you know when to be expecting your generation start and stop times. Further down, you can see the date is defaulted to today's date, which can be easily changed to any historic day for review. It is just below here that you can select the segments you wish to view, be it single day data like we're currently viewing, monthly data, yearly data, and even 20 year data. At the daily toggle, we move down to the dynamic data panel. As the My Delta Solar app delivers information to the cloud every five minutes, this will be the data at the last uploaded. If you're taking advantage of the built-in power meter on the H5A222, you will receive an abundance of data around your consumption and export. Having this data will greatly contribute to your ability to self-consume as much solar energy as possible, while also helping you reduce buying energy from the grid. Production represents what we're actually generating at the time of measurement and is displayed in the graph as power using the red light colour. This will be zero if you're viewing your app at night as there is zero sun. Consumption represented by the yellow colour is the energy your home is consuming. This can be both from solar and the grid should you not be generating enough energy to meet the loads. Feed-in is what you're exporting to the grid represented in green. This is the excess energy generated you didn't use. Depending on what your agreement is with your energy retailer, this can be an advantage or less so. Purchased is what you import from the grid when you cannot generate enough energy from the sun to meet your needs. Most commonly increases at night due to lack of sun and hence lack of solar generation. You can see this in the colour orange. Energy represents total generation in kilowatt hours up until the last recorded point. This is the solar energy your inverter has converted and is viewed here in red. Below the dynamic data panel, we present all this data in a graphical format using independent colours to contrast the different information. This data can be easily hidden and added back again by selecting and deselecting your choice. You can see a line is presented through your choice once you've hidden it, and those active remain unhindered. You can zoom in and out on this graph to stretch the data, 
and see in more detail the various peaks and troughs in your energy behaviour. By clicking at any of the points along the graph, the app will present you with a snapshot for that very segment in time. This provides you with the date and time, as well as all the relative feed-in, purchase, power generated and consumption figures. As you remove or add back the categories, you'll see this adjusts in the snapshot. As mentioned prior, you'll need the relative CT clamp and cable to achieve everything beyond simple power generation. Briefly selecting the month toggle, you'll see that we're now viewing the totals in the dynamic data panel. This is for the whole month or month so far. You can view prior months by changing the date just above the toggles. In the graph you'll see the colours and data are consistent in what we viewed previously when explaining the daily data, making it easy to transition. Simply tap on a day of your choosing to view the snapshot of that day's data. The snapshot displays the date, total kilowatt hours exported, purchased if any, produced and consumed. I do hope this quick video has helped you better understand the My Delta Solar app and leads to better use of your Delta Solar Inverter. If you'd like to get in touch with any of our helpful support team located in our various Australian offices, please see the details in the information below.